Hey everybody, how's it going? Hey, I am fixing to propagate some of this. I, this is a crepe myrtle, but I think this one's actually called a Natchez. So I'm going to show y'all how I'm going to do this. Now, everybody has their own different ways of doing it. I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. You want to look for new growth, and I'll show you how you can tell that. See this? How this is a light green? See how it gets darker? Anything that's really light green, that's going to be new growth. See, that's new growth. This here, see where it changes right there? That's new growth up through there. But I'm not going to cut this one, even though it is one big sucker. I'm not. I'm going to take, and I'm going to whack this one right here. Maybe with these scissors with one hand. Maybe. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe I should have done this before starting the video how about that <laughs> uh that's all i'm gonna do on this one for now and i'll show you why in just a second actually you know what i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna go ahead and whack this one here too maybe i'm gonna have to get some more scissors hold on i'll be right back pause Okay, I got it cut, but I've definitely got to get some more scissors because I've got some more cutting to do. So we're going to find something besides them. Those need to go to the old uh, grinding stone. I'll show you what I'm going to do here in just a second. Let me go find... Let me go find some better cutters. Because those stink. Be right back. Folks, I was going to show you something that I found, uh, I knew I had it, just uh, I just didn't know where it was. And I wouldn't have found it except for these goofy little kitty cats got into the greenhouse the other night and uh, turned over everything and made a mess out of everything. And uh, Master Gardener went in there and cleaned it up today. And as I happened to be looking around for uh, something else, for a project that I was working on, I wouldn't have found it, but I did find it. I just wish that I'd have had it about I don't know, two or three weeks ago. But, hey, we've got it now. I don't have to manually drag the water hose out here and squirt every little spot now. So, uh, some of the grass seed is coming up. And I guess, you know, we're going to get some of that El Naturel. All Naturel grass growing, too. Uh, so we're just going to keep it watered. And by the way, you folks need to stay watered as well because we ain't got no rain coming for the next at least 10 days. And it's hot, hot, hot. So stay hydrated and uh, pay attention to your pets. Keep them watered. Pay attention to your garden. Keep it watered because we're all going to dry up if we don't. <coughs> okay, so like everything else around here, we're going to use wire cutters because my scissors are too dull and I can't find what I'm looking for but this is what I wanted to kind of show you now what you're going to want to do is you're just going to want to cut out the top I don't know if I'm in camera or not so we're just going to cut out the top like that and we're going to count down three nodes one two three yeah you know what we're going to go I want to make two out of this, so we're just going to cut it right about there on that first node. And then we're just going to pinch the leaves off. We're going to leave one or two at the top. We'll, we'll probably just leave it like this, just so I can get an idea of how the, the plant is uh, working out uh, in the soil. And we're just going to stick that one right in there now this is the natchez the white natchez that i already have this one we're going to do the same thing we're just going to whack this one off right there cut the top out of that pop our leaves off you only want it about three inches long two or three inches long is all you need and I'm planting a bunch of these because I'm not sure how they're going to work. I'm not real sure how this is going to work out. So we're going to plant a few of these to see how they go. 
And this one we just want to cut out the top. One. I think I'm going to bury two nodes. They say you need you know one to two nodes, so I'm going to just bury two nodes and call it good. And um, the the video that I watched actually showed them just storing it in uh, a sandy type soil. And with it being in the summertime, uh, so I don't know how this soil is going to work out is what I'm trying to say. And with it being in the summertime, don't know how it's going to work out because they say the best time to plant these is in the spring early spring now you can plant from what i've read you can plant uh crepe myrtle at any time but they seem to do better you know they bloom all summer long so they seem to do better when you plant them early spring you just want to get them in the ground before uh, a frost now in this one we're going to do the same thing but this one is a little different this one is a little bit i don't know if you can tell it or not this one has pink this one is a little bit of a pink or a purple not real sure because it didn't have very many blooms on it so that's what we're going to put in here so we're going to have two different colors going and i don't know if you can tell it or not but it was hard to find some with new growth on this one so i'm just going to cut this right at that node We're going to pull these leaves back. And we're going to cut this one right here. Just like that. Don't look like much, does it? We're going to see how that does. Cut right here at this node. One, two, three. We're going to cut right there. And we're going to leave that one just like that. This one's a little bit flimsy. Hey, y'all aren't in this video. Go on. Go on. Get out. Go on. So we're just going to cut the top out of that. Pull back our leaves. Now these are supposedly very simple. To propagate well, that's what the internets tell me anyway they're supposedly very simple to propagate so we're going to see i hope they are and when i cut these by the way i put them in water because if you don't get them in water fairly quick they will start withering and then, and then once supposedly once they start withering you you might as well just throw them out because they're just they're done and i'm going to cut i think two out of this one I think the main thing is you want, of course you don't want many leaves because the, the plant will put a lot of energy into the leaves. And the main thing is, is getting at least one, preferably two of the nodes uh, buried. Like I said, I'm not sure about this soil at all. I was going to get to where to go there it is um, I'm not sure about this soil at all because the one I watched they actually had a a solo cup with uh, sand and water and that's one thing I will have to do with it being 
you know, middle of summer, I make sure they're they're watered really well. So I'll, I will be watering quite a bit, and that's fine. And I'm going to go ahead and one of these that is that is not new. That's that's older, and I can tell it's older because it's a lot more brittle. I think I'm going to ahead and try. I'm going to try to start it as well, just for my own, just for my own, uh, I don't know what you call it, um, I just want to see if it'll work. And I will say, I'm going to give it a better chance by taking my fingernails and just kind of stripping away some of this hardened bark on it getting it down to the uh, the green stuff the pink meat you know what i'm saying it has a scientific name i'm sure but i'm not sure what that would be and we're going to try that see how that works out so there you go this one we have the white natchez and I'm going to have to keep them separated because there's going to be a while before they get, you know, blooming size. And these are going to be the pink or purple. I'm not real sure which ones they're called. But we're going to just see how they go. And we're going to water them in. Really well. For a while now, I'll have to water these and baby them. And hopefully, supposedly, they don't need root stimulation or root hormone, whatever you want to call it. You, you can use that, but uh, you don't think you have to use it. And supposedly, in about three to four weeks, they should be rooted. And that's what we're hoping for. And that's what we're going to try to do. If we pull these suckers up and there's some root on them, we are going to stick them in the ground. For sure. I want to try to get more colors. Yeah, I want to try to get more colors. And I will be getting more colors if these work out. If this works out the way I want it to, then. You know, and I become kind of a semi-professional at this, then we'll know that we can propagate fairly easy and we can start getting some more colors and planting some more in different places. And that's what we're going to try to do. soaking it in. I really want to soak this in. Get this well, well drenched. And we'll probably end up doing this twice a day for a couple weeks. I got chickens running everywhere. Now let me see if I can't bring y'all in here and get you a better look. So yeah, this is what we're going to do. These are going to be the purple. These are going to be the white. And we're just going to see how they come out. Supposedly, cross our fingers, you know, supposedly this is supposed to be pretty easy to do. So that's what I'm all about. Easy. So let's give it a try. So folks, we're going to keep an eye on them crepe myrtles as I dodge the sprinkler. I got to go turn it off. Hopefully they work out. I hope they do. 
And if, if they do, then uh, we're going to do a few more. But in the meantime, and in between time, listen, I hope you folks have a great start to your week. I hope you'll come back and see us right here at Little Nuts Farm. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the little bell so whenever I do post a video, you'll be notified on it. And you guys, we'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a great weekend. Actually, no, have a great week. Yeah, do that. Have a great week. I'm used to doing them on the weekend. Sorry, I don't know. Don't pay no attention to me. Come back and see us. Bye-bye.